so I don't know if you've noticed actually in my recent videos but you might have noticed that my hair has got a little thinner and that's probably because that uh, I actually shaved the back of my head now this was a rather impulsive decision so yeah I'm quite impulsive when it comes to my hair I will wake up in the morning see a picture online of a colour or a kind of design or a style anything like that and I will just instantly go and change my hair to kind of replicate that and so yeah I was quite impulsive with this one thing I will say is I did I would recommend getting a shaver that's probably the biggest thing that I forgot to do so when, when I get an idea in my head I just need to do it straight away so I got scissors lobbed like basically the back of my head off well not my head my hair off and it wasn't straight it wasn't anything it was just a mess an absolute mess and I was trying to do use different shavers to try and get to a certain length all even just turned out to be a patchy just mess it was not great but um so the perks of amazon i got a i went straight online and bought a shaver um just a men's shaver and i could even it out the following day some of the areas were a bit short so i couldn't actually shave it but with my shaver that i had different lengths in which i could change my hair and everything so I just cut it really short which gave me kind of room to grow and it would mean I didn't have to cut it next time on like too early and everything. So in this video I'm basically just going to explain some of the pros and the cons of having an undercut. Um, mainly pros kind of but I will just say that this is probably the only time I'm actually gonna have my hair like this. I am letting it grow out just because I do have quite thin hair and I'm, I'm attached to whatever hair I do actually have just because my hair is quite thin and damaged so one pro is that my hair will grow back a lot stronger than it was um, as I've been dyeing my hair since I was in like primary school so my hair is definitely going to grow back a lot stronger, healthier in my original colour so I guess that's a pro but yeah no I will be drop, I will be kind of moving on from this. I was I had the chance to do it so that's definitely the thing. I feel like just allowing me to experience it and see what it'd be like is the best kind of thing for me because otherwise I would always have that nagging thought in my head was like what if I didn't do, what like what happens if I did do that? Would I like it or anything like that? So I'm gonna go basically through all the pros and then all the cons of having an undercut. So like I said first pro is your hair will grow back a lot healthier especially you have damaged dry hair so I use a I think it's a L'Oreal kind of revitalizing shampoo and conditioner which is really really good because I'm trying to keep my hair in good condition even though I keep dyeing it all the time but it's a lot healthier than it was yeah so that will definitely help in thickening my hair up another pro is your hair dries a lot quicker so you've got less hair on your head so you won't actually have to dry as much so it's definitely a lot more like time saving in the mornings or in the evenings or whatever so you can definitely take that into consideration next pro is I just think it looks cool to be fair I think it's slightly different like it's in between shaving your whole head and then not shaving your whole head and it's definitely good in the summer which is another pro so it's a lot cooler especially if you have your hair up you've got a nice breeze on your neck but yeah no I think that's some of the pros about it so the next thing is the cons which to me are quite like affecting to me I get very like anxious when I'm out on the streets and stuff so I do get a lot of unwanted attention a lot of people will stare at you look at like your hair and I know it's not very helpful especially when I have green bright hair and a lot of people just I have been called that I'm basically just wanting attention and stuff because I dye my hair green and I have tattoos and piercings and everything but that's basically a whole nother video um so but I'm not like that. I would rather kind of stay out of the, the spotlight and not really be that involved, especially like that. So I feel like with an undercoat, you definitely get put up on a pedestal slightly and you definitely get a lot want, 
a lot of unwanted kind of looks and attention and everything and another thing is you definitely get a lot of people coming up and wanting to touch your hair so if you're not really one for someone if you're not really one for people touching you and everything I definitely probably wouldn't recommend an undercut because a lot of people will want to touch like your, the back of your head and everything another con is the upkeep if you're one of those people that constantly want it all the time then and your hair grows rather quickly then you are going to have to keep it like trimmed and like kind of the same length quite a lot of the time and that can be kind of difficult sometimes especially if it's on the back of your head and you're doing it yourself so you can like shave off bits of your head that you didn't actually really want to shave so i would definitely recommend asking like a friend to help you or something like that because i only had me to do it and that was quite difficult i had to do a lot of maneuvering between mirrors and everything but i eventually got there and it's kind of straight at the moment but yeah the upkeep is rather difficult and if you are growing then if you do get to a certain length it does get quite long which will lead me on to my next con and that is growing it out so i'm growing my out and my hair kind of sticks out like that at the moment which is kind of annoying and it does look kind of odd when I have my hair up so that's why a lot of the time I do style my hair kind of half up half down because then you don't really see it as much and you can hide it and then the last con I think is well for me this is a con because I live with them and that is what your parents and your grandparents think so I live with my grandparents and they accept that I'm going to have coloured hair, I'm going to have tattoos and everything, but that doesn't mean they kind of have to approve of them. They've come to that conclusion that I'm going to do it, because telling me that I shouldn't is most likely just going to go and make me want to do it even more. But that was a problem for a couple of like days, and I think even a week, they didn't even notice because I constantly kept my hair down, and it was just one day that... I decided I wanted my hair up and that was when the conversation started about the fact that I shaved the back of my head. So I feel like that's probably a con because it was kind of the disapproval and kind of the disappointment of the fact that I shaved my head, you've got to go through that conversation. But if you're one of those people that just doesn't really care and everything, then go ahead. But yeah, so that was a couple of the pros and cons of shaving the back of your head or shaving an undercut. Uh, I hope this helped you made us make a decision on basic, on whether or not you want to do it. I would think, do you know what, just go for it. You only live once, even though as cheesy as that sounds. You only live once and you're probably just gonna constantly think what if I had done that, like what would happen. Personally for me, this isn't the style that I'm gonna keep, but at least I had the experience, at least I had the opportunity to experiment and everything and I think that's the best thing for you is just to experiment and see what you like and your dislike if it's something that's not going to be completely permanent then I would definitely recommend just going for it so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um please like and subscribe down below so bye